Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room. Do you like some hot, steamy, robot-on-robot robot action? If so, I've got the game for you. It's Gundam Seed Battle Assault on the Game Boy Advance. Curses! If by juice you mean malt liquor, then yes. Do you like destroying things with giant robots? Classic Game Room does. Especially on the Game Boy Advance. I've got a nice fighting game for you here called Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Battle Assault. Where you do just that. Destroy things with giant robots. Although I guess technically they're mobile suits for you Gundam enthusiasts. This one takes place in the Gundam Seed universe or whatever. Got to admit I'm not familiar with that show, but you don't need to be to enjoy this good straightforward fighting game for your Game Boy Advance, which looks really nice when played on the Retron 5 here. It also looks great in person on the Game Boy Advance, or more specifically, the Game Boy Advance SP, which is still my favorite handheld game system. Except for the Sega Nomad. What you do here is uh, pretty simple, choose a robot and kick ass. It's a very playable fighting game, doesn't cost all that much these days, and gives you lots of Gundam characters and mobile suits to choose from, but it's not a very technical game, so if you're looking for something that's like way more complicated, go with Blaze Blue or Street Fighter or something. If you just want to mash buttons, jump around, and shoot lasers at robots, get this. It's not a fancy game, and obviously you'll get the most out of it if you're a fan of Gundam Seed, but I like this one. It's just playable, and it looks good. The graphics are nice, the gameplay is nice, and as you play through the game with each character, you unlock some different things. You can also just go online and pull the passwords off the internet to unlock all of the robots. There's a survival mode. And it's pretty easy all the way through normal, but once you step it up to hard, it does get more difficult. Obviously, what's not as obvious is how well this game plays. It's as good as it looks. It's surprisingly light on its feet and nimble for an older Game Boy Advance game. And the GBA only has two buttons and then the two shoulder buttons, four in total. Which normally wouldn't be enough for a good fighting game, but the controls are pretty simple. You have an attack button where you'll use your sword or kick or punch depending on which robot it is. The other button will typically fire or launch missiles, and then there's a combination of things that you can do with the shoulder buttons, including some special moves. It's no more complicated than that, but it's fun. It's a fun, playable game. Perfect for those of you into Gundam who love your Game Boy Advance SP. Come on, it's the future. You gotta step it up to the backlit screen by now. The backgrounds look nice, the characters themselves look nice, and the music is very good. This is nothing fancy, but it's a good solid fighting game. Perfect for robot enthusiasts on the go when you're going somewhere in your mobile suit, of course. And I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you going to Nate from Long Beach, California. Once again, thank you, Nate, for another Gundam game. I'm still working my way through the DVDs, but after this one, I've got Gundam Extreme Versus to play on the PS3. Who doesn't love some good robot on robot action? This one is highly recommended and as you can see, it looks really good on the Retron 5. That thing is great for Game Boy games. Especially good looking ones like this. Gundam Seed Battle Assault. Yeah. 
If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From New Jersey. Michael Fernandez. People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver. Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia. Philip Strabenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria. Cue the thunder. Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar. Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh hi, Connie. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, Fighter of Space Bees! Woo! Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson! Nelson. Fighters of the future! That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud and the party rocking for Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular! Will! Will! Will? Will? Will! Will. Will.